It is time for Thirsty Thursday. Why just ski or snowboard at Timberline <laughs> Lodge if you could drink it too? Yeah, it's, I'll be honest. I I probably am better at this than I am at skiing or snowboarding at Timberline. Fair. So th this is this brings me this brings me <laughs> this into uh, the realm. This is your way to enjoy Timberline. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, so Oregon's longest and oldest distillery is out with a new line of vodka and is inspired by the popular Alpine ski area. So joining us live now to tell us about this product and how it's made. Joseph O'Sullivan, the master distiller with Hood River Distillers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good doing morning. well. Doing well. We're Excited to, to hear about this this new line of vodka. The weekend is so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> um, what is unique about uh, about Timberline vodka? Timberline vodka is really special because of what it's made from. It's a composite of seventeen different varietals of local apples as well as some grain. And that gives it some very interesting flavors that we can get into in a moment. But it comes from this local region and not just the fruit, but also the water inside of it. You know, this is an 80 proof bottle of vodka. So the majority of it's gonna be water. That water is gonna come from the top of Mount Hood from the Elliott and Co glaciers. So you has this really beautiful uh, sweet in the beginning taste that finishes very clean and crystalline at the end. So you have this unique, pretty vodka that you can drink in whatever cocktail you want. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Yeah, I've, I've had some before and it is, it's really great. It's nice and smooth. Nice. Uh, what would what would you say kind of in that taste profile? You mentioned that it has apples in it. What, what does that lend to the overall taste? Well, it, now I want to be clear, it doesn't taste like apples. It's okay. not an apple flavored vodka. It's just made from apples, but a potato it doesn't taste like an apple. And so all of those things that are there, that's not the starch and potato, but the sugars and acids that are part of the apple, well, that's going to impart a really interesting kind of flavor to it. Like I said, that complements this crystalline, merrily uh, finish at the end of it. You can yeah. see our big scale up there. That's actually got 46 levels of rectification going through those two top uh, uh, columns, and that's going to make this premium cut of the vodka that tastes, just try it, different than anyone, anything else on the market and uh, really successful in the field. You Very just got to cool. try it. Yeah, yeah it's no a good doubt. way to. Well, what was the inspiration behind this? Obviously, I mean, I, I, more than just saying Timberline, like what kind of kickstarted that idea mm -hmm. to, to make a vodka with Timberline in mind and the connection between obviously uh, Hood River and, and the mountain is obviously uh, one that runs deep. Well, uh, I heard you say that you're not much of a skier. I'm also not much of a skier. <laughs> Straight to that. But I still love the outdoors and I love this area. So you want to make something that inspires you. And I'm deeply inspired by the Pacific Northwest and the Hood River Valley. Working for Hood River Distillers, we started in 1934 making brandy out of the surplus apples and pears. And right around the same time, the WPA was founding to, uh, a lot of work on Mount Hood to get people out of the Great Depression. So Timberline Lodge, a lot of campsites, uh, a lot of uh, overlooks. It, all this was built at the same time. There's a deep connection between these two family owned businesses. And this bottle is kind of an example of that shared history in one place. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, you know, you talk about vodka. Vodka, I feel like, is one of the MVPs of, of cocktails. So I wanted to ask you about some cocktail ideas. You have one, instead of a, a G and T, you've got a T and T. Tell us about it. Well, that's the Timberline and Tonic, and that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's the Timberline Vodka and Tonic. I usually like to put a little lime in there, too. Uh, I, I'm personally going to be very particular to the Mount Hood Mule, which is our take on the Moscow Mule, or uh, I also think that the uh, martini that it makes is really good. But I want to be clear, this was designed to be drank straight. So you can even have it that way. It works great in a cocktail, but the best cocktail spirits can be consumed all by themselves without a bunch of stuff on them, too. Mm. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Very pure, very tried and true that way. Uh -huh. Awesome. Uh -huh. Well, Joseph O'Sullivan with Hood River Distillers, uh, congrats on, on the line, the, the Timberline Vodka, and, and getting that out there. I think it's a great idea. Excited to try it. Uh, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. And if you want to try the vodka for yourself, you can go to TimberlineVodkas.com to check out.
the liquor store locator as well. So yeah, pretty it, cool. It is a really good Yeah, one. it really is. And I, I do want to say, I love this little like mini bottle packaging they have. That like, little this carrier is bag. A little carrier bag a for when you're going go. out there. Yeah, a little to go. You can get your little mini bottles here. Take that up on your outdoor adventures. Exactly. You go exactly. play up get near some, the lodge and then cheers. Going on a hiking trip or skiing, you can take that with you. There you go. Hey, tomorrow on AOL.